guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are finally going to be decorating for fall 2020. I cannot even believe I've just said those words. A fall 2020 is here, at least in my house it is, because I was so over summer. I am so anxious to just get this year moving right along and needed that change of scenery. So we're going to be cleaning and decorating for fall today and I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. Knowing so we'll be back home So starting off here, the first thing I like to do with all my decor once I unpack it is just separate it into categories like you just saw me do and kind of like you see here. I just kind of divide it by room and by item kind of. So I try to just separate everything. That way it makes it easier for me to just grab and go while I'm decorating. I'm thinking about you. I see that smile on your face. Told me about the hidden place Something in the atmosphere so the first part of the house that we're going to decorate together today is going to be the living room and in our house the living room truly is the heart of our home we spend the most precious moments of our day together here in this room quite honestly right here in this little corner actually of the couch us three we just spend it all day long or all night long here snuggling watching movies and spending as much time together as we can so starting off i'm going to vacuum deep clean the couch i'm going to make sure i get into all those nooks and crannies make sure it's really well vacuumed so that i can go ahead and begin decorating Out of everything I got for my couch this year, this throw blanket from Home Goods is my absolute favorite thing. I found it and automatically fell in love. I love the stripes, I love the knitted look of it, the texture, and the subtle hint of orange and the tassels. I just love everything. It's so adorable for fall and for this couch. And here I am trying to perfect that effortless throw pillow, throw blanket, I mean look, but I'm not very good at it. So. I did the best I could, but I just love this blanket. I think it finishes off and completes the look of the couch. Moving on to our TV table, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off this table. This is a table right under our TV and I'm going to go ahead and just throw some decor on here for fall. I love these crate looking signs that say welcome and hello pumpkin. I think they're so adorable and the perfect size for this table. I don't know what happened, guess we weren't meant to be, I know we had problems, Thought we could fix them, but we got tired. There's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. And we are finally at one of my favorite parts of the living room, which is the fireplace. I wish you guys could see how massive this fireplace is. I'm standing on the bottom ledge of the fireplace right now and it is so big. It towers above all of us. It's humongous. I just, I can't even get over how big it is. So with that being said, it's my favorite place to decorate because I feel like I can really get creative and I have a lot of room to work with. So I am going to kind of just dust off these mirrors here that I had going. I just wiped them down with some spray, but I used the wrong spray because they're still streaky. But regardless, I'm just going to pop up some extra decor up here, some pumpkins, some wooden books, 
and some pompous grass leaves um and you can see me playing around with those because i just didn't know how i wanted to organize them but i ended up trimming them and sticking them in that little aluminum canister as you'll see in just a second and i think they really added that really pretty finishing touch of fall floral to the fireplace For the bottom ledge of the fireplace, I'm going to add this really amazing Hello Fall wooden sign. I'm going to fill up my lantern here that I actually ended up moving to the top of the fireplace, but it's down here for now. And I'm going to add some vase filler to this jar that I have here that never moves. I just change the vase filler with every season and I love having it here. I think it's so cute. And I'm going to just continue to decorate down here. I'm just going to do my thing, rearrange, add, subtract, and make it feel really fall and really cozy on this fireplace. By the way, I am freaking out about this little Q pumpkin that I found at Michael's. Our last name, well, Jared and Camila's last name, begins with a Q, and it is so hard to find anything with a Q on it anywhere, so I was so excited about that cute little pumpkin, I had to put it right up on the mantle. So next up is the dining room and I like to keep it really simple but really beautiful in this room just because it is a very functional room for us. We eat at this table every day, every meal. So unlike a usual formal dining room that normally wouldn't get used, um, we use this a lot. So I don't want to go too crazy in here. So it may be a lot simpler than what you're used to seeing in a dining room. But for us, it just works better this way. I don't want to be constantly moving everything just to have to eat. We already have to move oh, quite a bit just to eat on here. So I just want to make it as easy as possible. So you'll see that it's not going to be too gaudy or too crazy, but still really fall and still really beautiful. And I just love the way it turns out. I don't think I've mentioned this already, but we will be doing a fall home tour where I will go into further explanation on where each decor piece is from. But these lanterns are from Pier 1 and they sit at the center of the dining table and I just love decorating them for each season. They are like a really thin shape, like they're not very wide, so I'm very limited in what I can put in here. So I know it looks a little bit empty, but I just throw enough decor in there just to give it a, a little something. It's nothing crazy, but they really are a really odd shape, so they're kind of tough to decorate. So you'll see me just throwing some dollar store pumpkins in here, and I think that really dresses it up and makes it a little bit more fall while still being simple, still being subtle, and just giving the table a little bit more glam.
next we'll be heading into the guest bathroom I just do a little bit of decor in here as well since our guests mostly use this bathroom and I just want them to feel full every nook and cranny of my house so I'm gonna add some pumpkins to the sink I'm gonna add a cute little sign and some fall florals over the toilet if you will and I think that this will really dress it up for fall and make it really cute in here the before of our kitchen we're gonna come in here next and really fall it out and there's Mimi giving you the thumbs up she really wanted to help me with our very first tiered tray I am beyond excited beyond excited to decorate a tiered tray for the first time it's been my dream my dream to have one I have like a whole Pinterest board dedicated to just tiered trays so I got this small little double tiered tray to start out and we had so much fun decorating it she loved passing me all the little nooks and little trinkets and little things that we were adding to it and it was an amazing way to get her involved because after all this is all for her and for all of us to enjoy so I really wanted her to feel like the decor and the decorations were hers as well and just help me do this together it was so fun and I think it turned out so cute I literally am in love And I do like to add a little bit of decor to the stove area as well. Nothing too crazy because obviously we use this a lot, but just a little something to add that fall vibe. And I usually just add a kitchen towel here, but this time I'm going to do a candle and a little spoon holder as well. And I love the kitchen towels that I found this year. They're on Amazon. And I also saw the same smart. ones at Home Goods, but the one I'm going to be using is this watercolor pumpkin one. No <gasps> you guys, up. it's to die for. I just think for it's me. so adorable, so you simple, but so fall. That you're a good man. You're a good man. So lastly, I'm just going to throw on top of this island a little dessert area for fall. I got this basket that I'm placing an old kitchen towel in. I'm just going to throw any decor, small decor that I'm not using. This is pretty much all the leftovers, so I'm just throwing them in here. And this is worst mom ever, you guys. So we're making this really simple. Nobody has time to bake. Let's be realistic here. So I went to BJ's and I found the most delicious pumpkin rolls and I'm going to display it on this little cake platter next to this really cute sign that says the kitchen is closed all week long. And that is my motto, you guys. Eat pumpkin rolls, close the kitchen, and let's just relax. under the apple tree This gentle and lastly, I'm going to hang this wreath, this gorgeous wreath from TJ Maxx, right where we come in from our garage. And that is going to finish off the indoor fall decor and polish it off and just make it look really homey in here. Love this wreath. I think it's so beautiful and love all the textures and the colors. What has been has 
that's it for fall 2020 in my house you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it i am so excited that it's fall in here we are loving all the colors all the vibes snuggling with all these pillows eating off of these gorgeous chargers and enjoying the delicious pumpkin rolls drinking coffee we're doing it all and we're so excited I pray and hope that you guys have a happy fall in your home. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.